Greetings, friends and future friends. Today I want to show you something on the Korg PA5X Ranger keyboard. It's called the Matrix. I want to show you how you can use it and how you can adjust some of the parameters. So, first I got a regular style brought up, just future pop. But that's not important to what I'm going to show you today. So let's go over to the right and hit Matrix. Now this brings up the Matrix screen. And first of all, you have all the pads that are on the deck of the keyboard are actually right here too. So you can play those samples two ways. One here, or actually touch it on the deck of the keyboard. Now, one thing you need to know, because I'm going to be referencing this in this tutorial, is notice that the numbers go 1 through 4, 5 through 8, 9 through 12, 13 through 16. And going up and down, you have 1 to 13, 2 to 14, 3 to 15, and 4 to 16. So this is pad 1, and down here, hit it, is pad 16. Now, another thing that if you get into some of these that are a loop, one thing you got to also know is that if you tap on it again, or if I'm tapping on the board, it keeps playing. One thing you can do with the matrix is go over to the stop over here where it says pads and push the stop. So in other words, if I push something like that and it's looping and I want it to stop, all I got to do is push the stop. That's one thing really helpful because if you're playing something and it keeps going on, you can stop it instantly and it'll stop it when you push the stop button right next to the pads on the deck of the keyboard. The other thing is pads one, two, three, and then you'll see this has mute. One, two, and three, if you can notice, are actually samples, and we'll get into that a little later. But four is actually mute, and what that's going to do is now when you tap that, when you're playing your accompaniment, that instrument, bass, drum, percussion, ACC1 through 5, will be muted by that on the deck, which is pretty cool if you want to instantly mute something. So that's all. Let's go bad back to pad 3. Now, the next thing to notice in this screen is this little arrow with a square on it, a little square arrow. If you tap on that, it takes you to this screen, which then is the main screen, and also you hit on Edit, now you're going to see little X's come up here. What that means is now you can edit these samples. Now you can't edit the samples, and I'm not going to go into how to edit and create samples. That's a whole other thing. What I'm showing you today is how to use the matrix. So once you tap on edit, tap again, and it's lit up, you'll see little X's. Now I can go in here and go orchestra. Now I can go through all the menus go through all the orchestral sound effects, whatever, and then I can take and change that, and I can change the timpani, or go back to orchestra symbol. Now, one thing to notice, though, is if you go into some of these things, if you see a yellow arrow over a blue arrow in a circle, this means it's going to be a loop. So you're going to make sure that, that know that that's a loop. If we go back to orchestral, and if you see a yellow arrow over a blue arrow straight, that's usually going to be a simple wave file, and it's just going to play. And again, all the sampling and looping and all that is another tutorial. So let's go back out of this. We're back here. Now, one thing that's really cool, too, is we get back out of the edit. We go here, and we go menu and go pads. This is really interesting. And I'll admit to you, I still haven't mastered this. But what you can do when you're in this menu right here, pads, if I go, and now remember what I told you about the numbering, if I'm hitting pad one, which would be the furthest pad on the matrix, what that'll do is in each row, you know, you have 1 through 13 and so on and so on is labeled right here. Like if we go to pad 5, 
you're going to see this volume control change. What that does is each pad can be now triggered. Now, if I go into this section and go to the next row, which is 2 to 14, and now I'm actually hitting pad 14, all the parameters here will be changing that row. Pad 1, pad 2, pad 3, and pad 4 are actually pads rows 1 through 13, one, uh, 2 through 14, 3 through 15, and 4 through 16. So, how does that work? And this is really cool. Let's go back here and let's play with the volume a little bit. So, I have pad 5 at 100, and I have pad 1 at 90. So, what you do is you first tap on the pad that you're going to work with, then tap on it quickly, two quicks, and then adjust the volume and tap on it twice again. Now what you've done, we've just gone from 100 to 70. Maybe I want to drop that way down. Maybe I want to drop it all the way down to the bottom. Tap on it first. So again, here's the tap on it to identify it. Tap on it twice. Then adjust that volume and tap twice again. Now guess what? Now we have it completely off. Pad 5 is at 100, and pad 1 is at 100. Now I want to bring that pad back up to 100. What I do is, I'm on pad 5. Now I'm going to go to pad 1, identifying it, tap on it twice, then adjust that volume, tap on it twice again, get up to 100, boom, now I've just adjusted that volume. And let's bring pad 5 down to 50. Identify it with the first hit, then hit it twice, then drop this volume down, drop it down there, hit it twice. Now I've just adjusted pad 1 to 100 and pad 5 to 57. And you can also do it all the other parameters for that pad. So in other words, let's go back to pad 1. Let's bring that it's back to 100. Let's go back here and make sure this volume down here is the same. Click on that and bring that up to 100. So now we go both up, both pads 1 and 5 are now at 100. But we'll change the EQ. So we're going to identify the pad. Tap on it twice quickly. Adjust that. Tap on it again twice. Now look, we have tap 5 is at 0 EQ and tab Pad 1 is at minus 6. Let's bring that back to 0. And you can do that with every pad in the matrix. You can adjust all the parameters. High, medium, low frequency, EQ, and then also the master effects. You can send the effects out. Same with the effects, 2 and 1, and of course the volume. You can also pan that. You can pan. So what this is showing you is you have full control over that pad in that matrix. Again, I'm not going to go into the sampling. I'm just going in to show you how you can change the volume, the panning, and the EQing, and also the effect send of that pad in the matrix separately. So let's get out of this, go back. So I want to thank you. So I hope this helped you figure out how to use the matrix. I think the best way is just to experiment with it. But it really works and you can change all the individual hits and EQ them the way you want. Take care my friends.